Genesis chapter 9 and verse 4. Genesis chapter 9 and verse 4. Give me King James Version. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. Uh, give me Leviticus 17 and from verse 11. Leviticus 17 and verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to understand this day that the life of any creature in this world is in the blood. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible continues to say that we should, you know, the, 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 the Lord was speaking in the book of Genesis, verse number 4, that they should not eat the meat with the blood thereof. Why? The blood carries life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you are drained your blood today, your life is squeezed out of you. And therefore, Christ when he was hanged on the cross, his blood was given out as a ransom for us. It was a propitiation, a sacrifice of reconciliation. A man being reconciled to the father or to the maker through the blood of the son. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is how the blood is powerful. We were bought by a price of the blood of Jesus Christ. By him being on the cross, he offered his life. He emptied his life through the blood to us. And that is why when you are getting saved, when you are coming to Christ, through the blood we are washed. By faith we receive newness and we receive his life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know it is a bit hard, but as we continue. The book of Romans 3 verse 23 to 26 the bible says Romans 3 uh, 23 to 26 uh, Romans 3 3 3 3 3 uh, media. for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Christ. Christ gave his life as a propitiation, as a reconciliation. Man who had gone outside the way of God, Yesu Anakuja, Anajipeana maisha yake 
kwa sababu ya mwanadamu blessed be the name of the lord in the olden times kulikuwa na the day of atonement whereby it was once in a year and this is what used to happen the high priest could enter into the holy of the holies to present the blood to god blessed be the name of the lord and therefore siku hiyo ilikuwa ya watu kuachilia dhambi zao i wish uh, uh, watu wa media mnaweza nitengenezea sauti katika jina la Kristo and therefore the high priest could go to god in the holy of the holies to present the blood it was a sacrifice that the lord may forgive the sins of his people that the lord may atone the sins of his people mana yesu apotukufu and remember that day still is the day when mbuzi na kondoo walikuwa wanawekelewa mikono kwa wale ambao ni wenye dhambi blessed be the name of the lord wana you know wanawekelewa inasemekana huyo ndiye mwana kondoo ambaye amebeba dhambi blessed be the name of the lord na yesu akiwa binguni na baba wakaanza kuulizana ni nani tutatuma aweze kurejesha mwanadamu back to us blessed be the name of the lord because god always desired a continuous relationship ya mwanadamu na yeye haleluya and so jesus gave himself as a ransom ana yesu hapa utukufu akapeana maisha yake akaumimina moyo wake ili aweze kumkomboa mtu yule ambaye alikuwa amepotoka kutoka kwa jia za Bwana that is the only way that can bring reconciliation between man and god because jesus had to come on the earth god who is the son became a man so that he may reconcile his fellow man to god again hallelujah bana yesu apotukufu the power of the blood of jesus christ that alone makes the blood powerful your blood or the blood of animals cannot be in a position to purchase even a fly can you imagine damu yako hata ikamwagwa haiwezi ikakomboa inzi but christ himself he gives himself as a ransom for the mankind to bring man back to god what a powerful blood hallelujah bana yesu apotukufu it was powerful Christ being a reconciler propitiation blessed be the name of the Lord the bible says in hebrews chapter 9 and from verse 16 ah uh, hebrews 9 and from verse 16 for where a testament is there must also of necessity be the death of the testator for a testament is not of for is of force after men are dead otherwise it is of no strength at while the testator live angalia hapa if you write a will to your children that will cannot be of effect as long as you live Bana Yesu hapa utukufu. Hallelujah. But the will becomes powerful when you die. And that's why you see watoto wa wale ambao wanatamani mali za baba yao wakijua ya kwamba baba yao ako na will ameandika. 
na amekuwa amewakazia mali wanatafutaka vile wanaweza wakammaliza haraka is it true have we ever heard of such cases kwa sababu gani that will as long as the father is alive has no power has no effect na ye yesu wakati alipokuwa hai damu yake haikuwa na nguvu ya kukukomboa wait until the time he died on the cross the blood became powerful it is powerful even today to wash your sins it is powerful today to heal your diseases why because already the one who bought us is gone and therefore the testament is at work the power in the blood of jesus the bible continues to say in verse 17 for a testament testament is not is of force after men are dead otherwise it is of no strength at all while the testator lived where upon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. Look here. Before Jesus died, even there ahead of him, any testament, any covenant was sealed by the blood. It was sealed, in other words, it was sealed by life. Because life is in the blood. Hallelujah. Na kwa hivyo wakati a testament ilikuwa inataka kuinuliwa lazima mnyama angekufa Ana Yesu apewe tukufu Dio damu imwagike and then it is sealed What a powerful revelation that Christ sealed us with his own life Therefore no demon should stand before you kukuhangaisha because you carry the very life of Christ ana Yesu apetukufu Biblia husema Kristo aliingia kwa hekalu yenye haitajengwa na mikono ya wanadamu hapo awali the chief priest angeingia into the holy of the holies it was known after one year the chief priest atakuja kuingia kwa the holy of the holies Na hapo dipo dhambi zetu zitasamehewa. Na kumbuka what used to happen the night prior the priest alikuwa anasomewa the law asirare. Asiyatakiwe na shetani. Asifanye dhambi kwa njia yoyote. Kwa sababu akiingia pale akiwa ako na dhambi atavurutwa tu akiwa amekufa. It was a serious place. And if Jesus comes to replace such a serious place, that then, then it means whatever he did was more serious than the one that was there. And that which he did is the one that has made you be the way you are. We are no longer under the law. We are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. The power of the blood. When you speak, when you plead the blood, you plead the very life of Christ. Kwa sababu gani? He never entered into a tabernacle that was made with the human hands. Hallelujah. The power of accusation was dealt with by the blood. The devil cannot accuse you any longer because you have the blood. You can apply the blood for cleansing. You can apply the blood for
for healing. Therefore, the power of accusation loses power. Hallelujah. And that blood, once it washes us, we should desire to live a righteous life. Why are we not in a position to manifest Christ? Because we have made the blood ambayo ilimwagu wa msalabani nguvu za msalaba tumezifanya kuwa bure. Tumekosa kuzikubali. Tumekosa kuziamini. Because it is through faith that we receive the blood to wash us. And it is powerful. Have you ever heard of a certain soap that can clean you and cleanse you? And your life becomes a new. Ata hile geisha inaitua moringa. Sijui inaitua geisha moringa. Have you seen the geisha moringa? Bana yesu hape utukufu. Is it in a position to clean you? And you become a new man. A new creature. Ata hile ingine ni naonaga watu wakipanga laini. Wakiiba gani? Sawa sawa. Eh? Ni sawa sawa ama ni sawa shawa. Sijui. Hallelujah. Haina uwezo. Wakukuosha. Na ufanyike. Kitu kipia. It is only the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. It makes us afresh. It makes us new. Wakati umeoshwa kwa ire damu The power of sinner is lost The power of accusation is lost And you can stand And become What God has desired it to be Wana Yesu hapa utukufu Hallelujah. By his blood, we were made heirs of all the covenants. Yale mambo yote ambayo Yesu alikuwa nasema. Behold, I give you power and authority. There is no way tungepata ile nguvu na uwezo kama yule ambaye alikuwa natupatia nguvu na uwezo hajaondoka lakini kwa sababu aliondoka we have power and authority by that blood we became heirs of the covenant of God hallelujah we are powerful just as the blood is because we are carrying the very life of Christ. When we are having the Holy Communion, the Lord's table comes to remind us the power that it took place for us to be the way we are. Therefore, it is a good time to renew the promises to claim the promises. If you need healing, claim healing. If you need advancement, claim it. Because we are receiving the life again. And when you have the Lord's table, you should not go back the way you came. You should go back a new person. Na yesu wapo utukufu. Si kuna kuwaka na meza ya mapepo. Ama hamjui kuna kuwaka na meza ya mapepo. Na watu ambao inamia miungu mingi. And that is why God is very serious with the covenants that you make, especially when you are eating. Wewe siyo mtu wakuenda ukikura na ukikunywa kila mahali. Because hujui yule ambaya nakupatia iyo, ambaya nakufanya ukunywe, Ni wameza gani? 
Na Biblia husema hauwezi ukara kwa meza ya mapepo na ukare kwa meza ya Mungu. Haleluya. We should desire the blood to cleanse us and that it will help us to live a righteous and holy life. And only then will you manifest the power of God. Anybody who is ready to receive the life of Christ today, it is not limited. As you receive the Holy Communion, you are not limited. Anybody who is ready to receive the healing, healing of Christ today, you are not limited. As you receive the Holy Communion, healing will happen. I thank God because in the morning I was crying to God and I was telling God, Mungu, matendo ya liokua katika siku za awali Yarienda wapi? Sufufue matendo yako. And I thank God I had a pastor Jesse akielekeza the same kumaanisha Bwana anatamani afufue matendo yake aliyokuwa anayafanya hapo awali akitumia nyinyi. Hallelujah. And how shall he manifest his power? Number one is by receiving his life afresh hallelujah by receiving his body afresh through the blood he offered his very life to us and anyone who is ready to receive him will receive his mysteries today is a day of receiving mysteries of our God Blessed be the name of the Lord. The mysteries that go along with the blood. If you are ready, if you prepare your heart, if your heart becomes expectant, you will receive them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. A few things I want you to note this day. Number one, the blood has power to heal even today. Why? The one who covenanted with us died on the cross and one of the promises was the promise of healing. So anywhere you have an infirmity, the blood is powerful. I pray as you receive the blood today that the infirmities will be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says there should be no barrenness in the house of Israel. As you receive the blood, you will receive life and when you receive life, then barrenness in Aondoka, katika kila kitengo cha maisha, naomba utasa, siku ya leo kawaondoke, katika jina la Yesu Christo, utakapo kuwa unapokea, kikombe cha damu, hata katika biashara yako, utasa, uondoke, katika jamii yako, utasa, uondoke, katika maisha ya uombezi, utasa, uondoke, and you will receive the life of Christ afresh. Number two. Through the blood, we have been given power and authority. It is through the blood. The Bible says greater things than the ones I have done shall you do. Christ said that. How many know that you can do greater things than the ones Christ did? 
Are you aware that you can do greater things than the ones Christ did? It is a promise. He gave a promise. And as long as he is here on earth, I can assure you those great things. How is you Kazifanya? But now he went. He went back to heaven and left power and authority. I pray ya kwamba tutajijua viema na tutaweza kufanya mambo makubwa kwa sababu ya Bwana. Hey, the power of the blood. Hallelujah. It is the blood that was adding power and authority to us. Without the blood you are not powerful. I throw a challenge to them that not, you know, them that have not been washed by the blood. Why are you denying yourself power? Why are you denying yourself authority? And you know, power cannot work without authority. And authority cannot work without power. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Huh? If I give her power and deny her authority, ni kama tu ceremonial uh, thing. While I was in banking, a certain man had, I think, four wives. He came with those wives and they opened their accounts. Hmm? And all the wives were put in that account. And the mandate was only so and so to sign. Muse pekeake. Only muse to sign. And we, we used to have a, an account that we used to call it Mdosi Junior for the children. So, to require to address the account as Mudosi Senior. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because, wa mama, wa mewekwa kwa account. Lakini hawana nguvu ya ku, you know, transact. Hata wakiwa na shida. Muse asipo seba sita nita sign. Hata wakiruka hapo inje. Hakuna anaweza wakasikiza. Power they had. Authority hawakuwa nae. Na pia power and authority inaeza kuwa in different uh, levels. Kuligana vile unavyo tafta mungu. Hallelujah. Hmm? Sasa kama tukakuwa na wageni, pasa nafikirie achinjia wageni kuku. Hakona authority hiyo. Wana yesu wapa utukufu. Lakini, Kukakuja wageni wawiri ama watatu Atije ile ngombe ya kukamua Rafu muzea kifika na mwambia Nyoniri ya geni ni moka Doi ya dema dejire ngombe Utaona aje Kuna kiwango yenye hajafikia Power iko Authority iko Lakini Mwenyewe Kuna kiwango hajafikia to exercise. Wapendwa, to exercise the power and authority yenye tulipewa, you must be a person of prayer. Hallelujah. Huko ndiko debe zinaongeze yago. Eh? Ukifast, siku tano, na yekewa kadebe. Ukiingia zingine kuminatano, Naongeze wa kadebe kubwa kidogo. Aleluya. Ukisukuma foti. Unaweke wa kidebe. Na yesu wape utukufu. Because already power and authority has been given. It is up to you now. Kutafuta zile nguvu na weza. Uzifanyishe kazi. But the blood has released them. 
I pray that the Lord will reveal to us how to exercise power and authority. And I support Kufu. Even as we receive the Holy Communion today. Another thing. For us to receive the power, Jesus had to present the blood to the Father. Remember, the high priest was presenting the blood for the sake of atonement to God. And here Jesus has offered his very own body and life Therefore, during resurrection, he had to present the blood to Father so that the atonement may be complete. And look here, what happened? I think in the book of uh, John uh, 19 and verse 16. Uh, give me John 19 uh, uh, verse 16 for the testament to be uh, in effect, then delivered he him therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. And he bearing his cross went forth into a place so called, a, a place called the, to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha. Where they crucified him and two other with him on the either side and Jesus in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title uh, and put it on the cross and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Uh, this title then read many of the Jews for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city and it was written in the Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief priests of Jews to Pilate, Pilate Write not the king of the Jews, but he said, I am the king of Jews. Pilate answered, What have written? I have written, I have written. Yani ina 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 inaonyesha ya kwamba yeye ni mfalme. Hallelujah. Tuendelee. Ah, uh, tuendelee nitafute ile ninataka. Uh, ah uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I want. Uh, let's 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 uh, go. Twenty twenty. The the other one. Uh huh. Let's go. Where uh, is it? Mary Magdalene. Ambaya ritokea Yesu. Na Yesu akamambia simguze. Kwa sababu hajarudi kwa baba. Ah, it is in. John, uh, is that the last verse? Uh, let's go, let's go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm, let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, let's go. The next one. Uh -huh. Huh? Now you're at the capata and Bereangu Niambia. Twenty. Twenty verse. Ah. Mm. Uh, huh? Yes. 20 verse 17. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go 16 now. I think ni mimi ni yeah. Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned herself. You know, uyu mama alikuwa ameshikwa na uzuni. Sababu ameenda kwa the tomb. Na amepata yesu hayuko. But she never knew that it was expedient for Jesus to die even for her sake. The Bible says, Jesus said unto her, Mary, she turned herself, 
And said unto him, Rabboni, which is to say master. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples, she, what that she, uh, was that? Let's, let's go back to 17. Yeah, verse 17. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. Yani anamwambia, usiniguze kwa sababu sijarudisha damu kwa baba. Alleluia. Alleluia. Mwana Yesu ya peutukufu. The very way the chief priests were lifting the blood to, to, to God is the very same thing that is happening here once and for all for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God and your God. Yani ni narudi kwa sababu yenu. Sio kwa sababu ya kitu kingine. Nimemaliza kile abacho. Nilikuwa nimetumwa. Nije nifanye. Sasa ninarudisha damu kwa baba. Hili iweze kukubalika ya kwamba you have been reconciled to your father and to your God. Mwana Yesu wa Pautukufu. Hallelujah. And number five. Is it number five or number four? Through the blood we have received redemption. Hmm? We have received redemption. Revelation chapter 5 uh, from verse 8 the Bible says and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vows of orders uh, which are the prayers of saints. And they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thine blood out of every kindred and every tongue and people and nation. This blood of Jesus Christ brought redemption unto us. The Bible says there lacked a man who could open the seal. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But the son of God himself. After he gave his life. For our ransom. Was in a position. To handle it. Na kwa hivyo. Waze. Ishirina wane. Na viyumbe vyote. Hawange weza kunyamaza binguni. Kwa sababu gani. Kunaye moja. Ambaye ni mwana wa mungu. Amepatikana. To redeem his people. Hallelujah. The blood has power to redeem. This day, desire this blood. Desire the power of the blood. Desire to be washed by the blood. Desire the healing that comes from the blood. Desire the benefits that go along with the blood. And as you take the Holy Communion today, just go before the Lord and tell the Lord, I desire a replica of what happened when you were with the disciples. The covenants that you covenanted with them, the covenant of healing, the covenant of life, you redeemed me I desire to be redeemed again. I desire to be washed again. I desire to receive your life again. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Redemption. The Bible says in the same Revelation uh, 5 and from verse 11. And the Bible continues to say, And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne. And the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000. And thousands of thousands. 
saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. When the Lord was slain, when he gave up his life as a ransom, these are the very same things that he received. And because we carry his life, having left, this should be our portion. We should be able to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Any person and in any service of a holy communion, as you leave this house, this should be your portion this day. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yakwamba, you will receive power. You will exercise power. You will receive riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And I yes, about to go for. And now. How do you sustain this? How do you sustain power? How do you sustain riches? How do you sustain wisdom? How do you sustain strength and honor and glory and blessing? John chapter 15 and verse number 1 to verse 8. As I prepare to finish. The Bible says, These things, John 1, John 15 and from verse 1. I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. If a man abide in me, he is cast, he, if, a man, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Here is in Herein is my father glorified that he bear much fruit. So shall he be my disciples. For us to sustain whatever Christ received, then we must be in a position to abide ourselves in the Lord. We must desire to be purged so that we may bear much fruit for our God. Hallelujah. I know this is a very hard thing. Huh? It is a hard topic. You cannot exhaust the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. But I pray that the Holy Ghost will interpret it to you in a way that you will understand. For you to maintain, you must remain in the vine. You must allow the word of God to wash you. You must allow the word of God to purge you. You must allow the word of God to guide you. And when you are in Christ, then you shall ask for whatever you desire and it will be done to you by our Father who is in heaven. The power of the blood of Jesus 
Bwana Yesu ape utukufu. This day desire that power. Desire to be purged. Daudi akasema, purge me with thy hyssop. Hiyo damu iko na uwezo wa kukutakaza zaidi. Hiyo damu inatakasa, inaondoa kila aina ya lawama. Inaondoa even that which is red it makes us white blessed be the name of the lord this day as we have our holy communion desire the redemption of the blood desire to exercise power and authority desire the healing of god and not only if you know in 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 your body, even materially. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The other day the Lord said that he has pushed us to a new level of grace. In that new level of grace, desire to manifest the power of God in it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I, I would ask you this day, okiwa tu meketi mahali pale, Si unaweza ukatamani ah ile damu unaweza ukatamani kufanyiwa kazi na ile damu once again because it has power because it has power because it has power desire that power desire that power desire that power ukiwa tu umeketi kwa dakika moja tu desire that power in the mighty name of Jesus Koraso beginarina zoka bayata raboshindi meta hata kasola biganda rabazaka.